Hello everybody and welcome to this very special report live from Central Park in New York City. The birds are out singing, the bikes are out in force and it is absolutely beautiful down here today. Now I want to test out the theory that everybody claims that the Tron bike is the greatest bike on Zwift. This guy behind me, he's been chatting sh about it and saying it's the best bike ever. I don't believe him. I don't believe that the Tron bike has the advantage that everybody claims it does. So I want to put that theory to the test. We're going to head back to Utopia now and test it against the Cervelo C5 with 808 zip wheels. We're going to take it around the flat course, which is a 10 km loop, nice and flat, nice and easy. We're going to maintain a wattage of 357 watts, an RPM of 100, and we're going to see exactly how much of an advantage, if at all, that Tron bike has. Go on then pal, show us what you got. Okay then, so you join us just heading over the line. 357 watts, 100 RPM, you can see in the bottom left corner you've got the time for the Tron bike, bottom right hand corner is the time for the Cervelo on those 808 zip wheels. As you can see looking from the pair of them side by side, it doesn't look like there's that much of an advantage, at least at this speed anyway. So don't forget this is a flat route so it's taken in Ocean Boulevard, it gets to the end just down here into the Italian village and, uh, and then it hangs a right, goes around the uh, switchbacks just over this bridge and then we're going to hang a left and head back into the, uh, the village and the reverse sprint and the forward sprint under there. So we're going to head into the S's here, up and over them, starts to get a bit lumpy here. Up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. And then we're back onto the beachfront. So coming back up to the line now, that's a 14 minute lap, just over 10 kilometers. You can see the finish line in sight here. And that Tron bike does have an advantage. What's the time gonna be? It's gonna be 14 minutes, 11 seconds, 0.15. And as the Cervelo hits the line, 14 minutes, 14 seconds, 0.13. That's 3.02 seconds per lap over 10 kilometers. All right, we'll give that one to the Tron bike, three seconds over 10 kilometers. So if you think about a 30 kilometer race, that should in fact be a nine second advantage, which is a healthy advantage in a race. But what about around the figure of eight? It takes in the forward KOM, it takes in the reverse KOM at Watopia, How's it going to fare there? Are we going to find out that the Tron bike isn't actually that good for climbing? Is it going to lose time or is it going to gain time? Let's test that theory out right now. Exactly the same situation, exactly the same settings, 357 watts, 100 RPM. Who's going to take this one? Well, I think we already know the answer to that, Pritchard. It's going to be the Tron bike. But the question is, by how much? Because it is taking in two climbs. Now on last week's Zwift Myths, we found out that the Tron bike only gains one second over a tarmac with 202 zip wheels in up Alp de Zwift. So as we hit the reverse KOM here, how much time is the Tron bike going to lose or how much time is the Cervelo going to gain? We're back out onto the beachfront and straight back out into the S's as we head on that figure of eight. Not the most demanding of courses, but it does have enough of an elevation to actually challenge that Tron bike. So as we go back down Ocean Boulevard, we're eventually going to get to the uh, T-junction where we're going to turn left and go with the forward KOM. A nice leisurely pace up here. Two minutes and 14 seconds. So back down the other hill here, the other side of the KOM, over the bridge, into the Italian village, over the sprint, into the S's. You know this route by now and then back out onto the beachfront. So 41 minutes and 50 seconds so far for that Tron bike. But it's going to be 41, 54.08 on the right hand side. We're going to see that nine second barrier beaten here. 42 minutes, one second, 0.26. That's a 7.18 second per lap advantage the Tron bike has over its rivals. So there we have it. The Tron bike does have an advantage, although it certainly loses a lot of time over those hills. And if a rider with an inferior bike gets a few power-ups, 
there's no reason why they can't match that Tron bike over the whole distance of a race. So the Tron bike is a more superior bike, but given the amount of time and effort that you need to spend climbing hills to obtain it, I don't really think it has that much an advantage. I would sooner spend more time on the flats in the terrain that I enjoy the most and obtain that bike. Because after all, the bike is more aero than it is lightweight. So you're gaining more of an advantage on the flat. So we should have to ride the flats more to obtain this bike and not have to go to the moon and back just to obtain this bike. Join us next week on Zwift Myths with me, Chris Pritchard. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.